All right, thought I'd just make a quick review on this McGraw uh, air compressor, 21 gallon, 175 PSI, 4 CFM at 90, 1.5 horsepower, oil free, yada, 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 just some specs, quietness, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, I don't really think it's that much quieter than a regular compressor, but um, <clears throat> so this thing's got a air filter right here that uh, you're supposed to check periodically or avoids the warranty. I've checked it once, it's clean. Um, this compressor was, I don't know, I think it was like 200 and something. Um, used that good old 20% off coupon for it. It, uh, you know, you can change the thing just like any compressor. Turn the PSI down, turn the PSI up. Um, it, it does get pretty warm. Um, I've used it pretty extensively. I've had it for probably two years. It's a nice compressor. I'd recommend it. First thing I did when I bought it was flipped it upside down and I put some oil in the air drain down in the bottom um, to keep the bottom of the compressor from rusting because then when you stand it back up, obviously the oil settles on the bottom of the tank. Um, helps keep moisture down a little bit. I just threw some regular uh, hydraulic oil in there. I think I I think it was like AW32 or 46, one of these buckets here. But regardless, it's been a great compressor. Um, it, uh, the 20 gallons just barely doesn't hold up for me. I need to get a bigger compressor. But what I did was I ran a hose from here up along underneath this shelf here. And uh, up there, up there, over. Blah, da, 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 ran it over and over to this hose reel. This hose reel is a pile of junk. This is a cobalt hose reel from uh, from Lowe's. It it's junk. It leaks air up here. Um, well, not here at this joint, but inside where it spins at that at that coupler joint inside here. Um, uh, and then it never coils up correctly because this right here needs to be wider. It never lets the hose go to the outside edge. So it always winds up in the middle and then I've got to unwind it and then I've got to manually stand here and push the hose over, push the hose over, manually wind it up. It, uh, it's junk. Um, don't, don't buy a cobalt hose reel from Lowe's. So uh, uh, back to that compressor. I would definitely recommend it. Great compressor. Um, if you're doing fluid film with a fluid film gun, uh, especially a big trucks, it does not hold up the air volume that you need. I mean, it has enough volume until you get uh, probably 10 minutes in, and the compressor has to run constantly, and once the compressor starts get, getting down there with the air, it can't keep up with making the volume that it needs. Um, so it, it, it does work, but it, if you stop and let the compressor regenerate for a few minutes, you don't have to let it fill all the way up, but I let it every, every so often I'll stop and I'll just let it fucking fill itself up. Um, and then the gun sprays so much better. Uh, so I've, I've got to get myself a bigger compressor. I don't know, maybe a 30 gallon or would work. What do you guys think? 30 gallon compressor, 1.5 horsepower, two horsepower. I don't, you know, it just, I don't have enough, um, air volume. Um, this thing, like I said, it'll run nonstop. Takes me for a full size crew cab, long bed pickup truck. It takes about an hour and a half. I do a really thorough job, way better than anyone else around. Um, they uh, they just spray it on real quick, done, boom. I get inside all the nooks and crannies. I get inside all the frame rails, spray every single hole inside both directions, um, load up those cab corners real good because those are some good spots. But anyway, it takes generally an hour and 15 minutes to do a full undercoating uh, and... It just would go much faster, probably 45 minutes if I had a, a more higher CFM. So what does everyone think? Should I get a 30? I don't know what the next step is up from the 20, 21, 22 range um, for compressors. So anyway, I, I would definitely recommend this. It works really well for everything and uh, done roofing jobs with it. It would be nice if it had a little T fitting on here, but I mean, I could always add one. Uh, for when I'm doing roofing jobs, so I could have two two guns going at one time. But all right, everyone, that, <clears throat> that's the McGraw McGraw um, compressor from Harbor Freight. It uh, they've been carrying a lot of different brands now. 
that's not just Pittsburgh. And actually, all of their Pittsburgh stuff now has a lifetime warranty. Um, and they're even honoring older older stuff that was out before. They said that everything was lifetime warrantied. So that's pretty nice. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.